Well, hi, I'm Cody Sandall, and the field of war reporting has really undergone some major transformations over the last couple of years. As I'm filming this, the Iraqi government is battling ISIS for control of the city of Mosul in Iraq. And this battle has been stretching on for weeks. And as the fighting goes on, there are reporters who are embedded not just behind the lines from a safe distance, but with frontline combat units. They are definitely in harm's way. But they're also getting to see what war is really like. How terrifying it is, stressful it is, nothing like the movies. And as I've listened to this reporting, one tidbit that has really stuck with me is the sound. The sound of, of bullets pinging off the armor in the vehicle they're in, or, or more terrifying, the sound of a bomb going off, crumpling part of their protective shell, or destroying their wheels, leaving them sitting ducks. And that stuck with me because I think it highlights that even if the armor works, you can still get hurt. You could go deaf from the sound, or if a bomb goes off, even if the armor protects you, you might be thrown about in the vehicle and get hurt. You can still get hurt, even if the armor works. Kind of like those, uh, those giant sumo wrestling padded suits. Ever worn one of those? I mean, there's just so much padding around it. Uh, who could get hurt in one of those? They're, they're fan favorites with youth groups everywhere because they let you fight without risking injury. At least, that's what I thought, right up until one of the kids fell awkwardly in the suit and broke his arm. You can still get hurt, even with copious amounts of padding. You can still get hurt even if the armor works. As I read Ephesians chapter 6, you know, we are reminded in there that we need the whole armor of God. We need to protect our minds, to protect our bodies, protect our hearts and our souls. We need the whole armor of God. But just as with the war reporters, just as with the sumo suits, we can still get hurt even if the armor works. Now we can survive anything thanks to the armor of God, but don't be surprised when life still hurts as it's throwing stuff your way. Paul here reminds us that the Christians aren't supposed to float above the cares and concerns of the world. We're supposed to be right in the thick of things. So don't be surprised when it hurts. As you read Ephesians chapter 6, when have you been hurt, but still kept your faith, thanks to the whole armor of God? Enjoy chapter 6.